Logan Paul sued for $68 million. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, 2024 is not a good year for a lot of people, and one of them in specific is Logan Paul, as he is now being sued by his own prime bottling company for $68 million. What? You guys might know Logan as the guy who took the interesting video in that one forest in Japan, which led to the entire YouTube landscape changing, all of the advertisers pulling out. It was technically the Adpocalypse 1.0 before the PewDiePie Bridge incident. He's also involved in a bit of a controversy right now with CoffeeZilla, trying to sue CoffeeZilla over a crypto zoo scam type thing going on. A so so basically i'm gonna explain that situation so basically in the coffeezilla situation coffeezilla is getting sued by logan paul and it's from the crypto zoo stuff but coffeezilla is actually going to make a new story about a company that logan paul kind of co-owns with these two other guys and the, the company was where you can own part like 49 percent of his pokemon card and digital assets so if you guys want to like you own 49 percent, he owns the 51 percent, the majority um, you guys can take a part of that, but allegedly they haven't been convicted yet. The Canadian government is basically investigating them because that company, they've been misusing the funds. They put a whole bunch of money in offshore bank accounts. It's a full disaster. Kaivazil is going to report on it. And basically, um, Logan Paul, like basically said, nah, nah, nah. He gave him 24 hour warning. Logan Paul goes, nah, I'm going to sue you. You got to deal with this now. You're not going to be able to come out with that because if you do that, we can use that against you in court. It's a whole bunch of stuff. This is all alleged. This is all theorization. But basically that's what Kaviezilla said. Um, and Logan Paul is trying to do that. But after, literally after he does that, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple days later, bro, he gets sued for $68 million. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. A whole bunch of stuff is going on. It is insane of all the news. If you guys want more, I actually reacted to Kaviezilla's video. If you guys want to watch that, but let's keep moving on. Allegedly, he was accused of being transphobic for saying that one of the women in the Olympics boxing match was a man and shouldn't have been able to fight with a woman. Bro, why are people like, leave people alone, bro. We like, why are people so weird about this type of stuff? Like, why are they always like, oh, she's this, she's that. Who cares, bro? Who cares, bro? No one cares. We're just like, I don't understand why people have to always put their input in certain decisions. And like, it's just crazy. That was pretty interesting. A hot take for sure. He said it, he, he did a big oopsie on that one, right? And now also he ended up losing his title in WWE. Although that is scripted, it is quite funny to see. He is having a very, 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 very bad week. And it only gets worse as Logan Paul... So with the WWE title, I'm gonna, before he moves on, I'm going to have to say this. I feel like WWE sees that he's getting a lot of negative press. Maybe it was already scripted six months ago, but I have a theory is like, oh, you're getting a lot of negative press right now. We don't want full eyes. We don't want full eyes on you. You see what I'm saying? We don't want people talking about it. We don't want all the negative press. So we're going to take the belt and you're going to get it back after this all blows over. That's what I feel like is going on right now. WWE wants to keep their how to say this their stance with the public in good standing they do not want it, a lot of this negative press but i'm just guessing theorizing not a statement has been sued by his bottling company for 68 million dollars you all know logan paul has the prime sports drink right he's being sued for 68 million dollars that is a lot of money a lot of money i don't even know what i would do with that much money right Refresco Beverages sued Prime and an affiliate for breach of contract, saying that they repudiated the agreement when surging demand for the brand began to fall off. Prime touts promotional ties to WWE Inc., Kevin Durant, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Judge, Arsenal FC, FC Barcelona, the Los Angeles Lakers, and one major athletes and sports franchises. Wow. As Prime realized the slowdown likely was not just seasonal, but stemmed from the fading of the social media buzz that had powered its rapid rise, the company began to waffle and offer phony excuses before trying to back out of its commitment entirely, according to the August 2nd filing in the Delaware's Chancery Court. Why Delaware? Okay, so this is the one thing I don't understand about people. Like, why? So why are they suing him, right? And I feel like... They're like, I feel like they're, they lost a lot of money. Like prime. Come on guys. We know that prime is going to fall off. There's no way that they're going to be able to keep no beverage drink. 
Um, and it takes a very long time for a beverage drink to like stay, like to actually make routine sales for it to keep growing and growing and growing and for it to just make annual income. You see what I'm saying? There is no, um, there's basically how to explain this. Like there's no way that prime was going to like, because people were selling this bottle for $1,500 a bottle. They were selling it for a hundred dollars a bottle, right? There's no way they're going to keep that hype. From, from such a new company the company's gonna fall off it's gonna have lows and they're gonna have to go ups and downs you see what i'm saying but over time more and more people will slowly it will go back up because more and more people will buy it um you can see with coca-cola dr pepper yeah they have ups and down sales but they have an average you see what i'm saying prime's average is going to be low because it's such a new company so this is this is like predictable like there's no way just because it's logan paul he is a marketing genius but he's not gonna be able to keep these sales high all the time he he's also working with the wwe his other things he's not just like promoting prime all the time he is trying to but he like his time is kind of split you see what i'm saying but um yeah let's keep watching it's very interesting i don't know if you guys um have seen prime on the shelves you know i used to work in a retail store i would see prime it used to fly off the shelf occasionally mm. they do this weird little thing where they have a new flavor they had like this x flavor i don't know if it was a collab with the website the twitter x but it was a new flavor so it was flying off the shelves and then it just stopped moving and last time i checked those same primes have just been sitting there yeah one or two might go here and there but it is not even close to what it used to be even south park ended up making an episode about prime where People were just drinking it. You know, people were drinking it. It was cred, right? Drinking Prime made you cool. It's basically low. He's telling the truth. Basically, like, explaining more into this, like, the, the, the reason why it was so popular, because the kids, bro, they they loved it, bro. Some kids were getting pr one Prime bottle for Christmas. One Prime bottle for Christmas is crazy. You don't give your, you, you don't give your children your toy. You don't give him like a nice chair or some clothes you give them a prime bottle that's insane it was like the next big thing right back in my day it was like pokemon back in my day it was like Yu-Gi-Oh. like you were cool in school you like like when you were younger right and then the older you got like the first iphone when i came out in high school the first iphones were out right if you guys had iphones like you were actually popular because you were more higher class and blah 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 or people thought you were higher class people thought you were cool you see what i'm saying but now it's prime I don't know. It's just weird how times have changed. Like you went from iPhone to Prime. I don't know, but let's keep moving on. Logan Paul's version of the Feastables, right? If mm. you were drinking Prime, you were one of the cool kids. You were a part of the low gang, one of the OG Mavericks, <laughs> right? Look, yeah, you even had South Park, you know, making fun of it. <laughs> the exact same design of the bottle, the same flavors as Prime. And the kids were just going absolutely bananas, trying to get their what hands the on the newest cred a was prime and i guess that's what's coming back to bite you know him in the butt because he's no longer making the same profit he's no longer selling the same amount of primes and logan is just coming out to be not a very good face of the company mm. obviously being involved in a lot of lawsuits being involved in a lot of controversies not apologizing for the dumb statements that he made specifically regarding the trans the trans person that he thought was trans is actually a woman who just is a uh, intersex, something like that. So this is the thing, right? Um, they're, like I, I agree with prime. He's, he's been going through a, a lot of negative publicity, a lot of bad stuff. And the company has been taking, it hasn't been doing good, but at the same time, this was like, you cannot like, you need to explain that like prime is going to have a fall off. There's no way it's going to keep its highs, right? Even if he's going all through all these negative press, it's still going to have a fall off. So like they need to realize that. And I feel like they're using this to kind of like get out of their business deal out and they don't have to pay him. Maybe I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff. This is all speculation, but it kind of makes sense to me. Um, put in the comment section if it makes sense to you. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? But let's keep going. According to the lawsuit, the preliminary deal between Prime and Refresco called for the bottler to expand significant sums customizing its production line to meet the brand's specifications. As a result, the agreement allegedly included a minimum volume commitment in a take-or-pay provision requiring Prime to hand over a fixed fee per case in an event of an order shortfall, which means that in this case, Logan would be taking a loss of profit even if 
Prime wasn't selling just as a way for the bottling company to say, we will make this many if you give us this much money. Mm. And so I guess what Logan is trying to do, Logan and his team are trying to pull out and say, we don't really want to give you that much money because Prime's not selling too well and the bottling company isn't going to be making it and thus a $68 million lawsuit. <laughs> I don't even, how, how do celebrities just have that much money laying around? You know what I mean? Yeah, sixty-eight million dollars is ridiculous. Most of the time in these court cases, it probably won't be sixty-eight. It might be ten. It might be two. It might be three million. Um, they usually bring the bar up really high when it usually comes to court cases. I'm just speculating, but I've just what I've seen on information on the internet. Um, it's it's like sixty-eight million dollars, but usually the time they settle a lot lower than that. It's not that much, but they they and it's always like big news when it's 68 million dollars from logan paul it's just to make it seem like it's a lot bigger than it is it's still a lot of money but at the same time they're not going to pay that much it usually the the um, judge will usually lowers the the lawsuit i mean while refresco sought to ramp up for a test run the two sides were simultaneously working to hammer out a master services agreement to replace their initial deal according to the complaint but prime repeatedly dragged its feet before moving to pull out the arrangement altogether the suit says it seeks to recover the unrecouped costs that refresco incurred and mm. damages reflecting the profits it would have earned what the so, heck yeah <laughs> not a very good year for logan paul ladies and gentlemen for real. I mean, yeah. Let's just look at this. Just Google CoffeeZilla Logan Paul. He's <laughs> cooked. Four million views in a day. Logan Paul sued me. Cop Dude, this is crazy, bro. Like, a lot of people are making content on this. And I'm not going to lie. It's relevant content. A lot of people are going to be talking about it. He's a huge name. Logan Paul. Come on, guys. It's like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, KSI, um, Kai Sinet, Um, There's a couple other people. You see what I'm saying? But, like. Speed, I should speed. Those are the biggest content creators on the earth right now, or the the most known in the United States. Everyone talks about them. I should speed goes to any country. People are going speed, 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 speed. Come over here, speed. I love you. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're that big, people are definitely gonna make news on you. So, like, I think Logan Paul needs to realize he need like like speculate. I don't know him in real life, but maybe he's going through a lot. Maybe he sees that that like all this stuff is negative backlash and he just needs to be a lot smarter about what he does he needs to be a lot smarter excuse me about suing someone suing coffee so you know it's going to have a lot of backlash you know if you do that a lot of people are going to be against you but now like also coffee so his his insurance company kind of scammed him too allegedly because they're not going to pay the lawsuit. So now CoffeeZilla has to sell shirts. So it's even worse for CoffeeZilla. But I feel like a lot of people are going to support him. They're going to make a lot of bad videos. Um, the And the way of social media is they like the downfall of people. They like bringing people down. It's just the way of social media right now. Um, it's just how... It's just how people think. You see what I'm saying? But let's keep, let's keep watching. Davos, Logan Paul will never recover from this. Logan Paul sued CoffeeZilla and it's crap by Legal Eagle. Ludwig, Echoes from Above. All of these creators yep. are diving in to the crypto zoo scam, the Logan Paul scam. It's not a good year for Logan as he's now being sued by Refresco for uh, not coming to line, not coming to terms with the prime bottling. Now, another interesting situation about this um, Prime lawsuit is Logan Paul is trying to distract from the actual lawsuits, like with Prime, with CoffeeZilla. He's trying to turn this into a storyline with what? WWE. So he lost his title the other day. I think it was Saturday at SummerSlam. He lost it to LA Knight, who is a wrestler, right? And so he made up this whole fake little lawsuit to LA Knight saying that he he broke my prime truck he used a metal pipe to destroy the truck's window and damaged the door frame and surrounding areas so I'm guessing if you type in Logan Paul lawsuit this stupid scripted lawsuit will yeah it's definitely fake you know in WWE like if you haven't really known if you guys don't know it's fake right but this is smart. I told you he's a marketing genius. This is smart. This kind of gets the attention off of Kaipuzilla because it's the next big story. Logan Paul suing something, someone. But at the same time, it's not real. It's not real. You could tell this is not real. It's just like it's only one page. Is there more to this lawsuit? It's just one page. So it's definitely fake unless there's more pages to it. But <laughs> it's only one page. 
show up instead of the actual things, right? And he says, here's evidence. And it oh is gosh. LA Knight hitting the prime truck. It's scripted. It's all fake. That doesn't even look like real glass. Look at that. It's that's plastic. What are you what are you doing, Logan? You're not even trying. <laughs> it does look like plastic. It's not even Bro, a little a real windshield will literally shatter, bro. A literally a real windshield will literally explode into millions of pieces. When I say millions of pieces, it will be all over the ground. That just looked like it just split in the two. It literally looks like he's right. He literally just looks like a piece of plastic and he's just trying to break through it and it's not shattering. Like you could have used at least like candy glass or something. And then LA Knight would just repost it and say, Yeah, anyways, with a uh, shirt, his new merch. He's what the new the champion. Heck? Good job, LA Knight. <laughs> and this also made it to Dexerto. Uh, Logan Paul is turning his prime lawsuits into a WWE storyline. What the heck? Logan Paul has parodied his ongoing lawsuits involving prime hydration with a lawsuit against WWE star Logan or LA Knight. So yeah, just overall really cringy. He's trying to take away from the fact that he's being involved with actual real lawsuits with real people, real situations, harming real individuals. But he's like, well, how can I make this about me? Hmm. For example. So in my opinion, how much do you think Logan Paul makes from all this WWE stuff? I think he makes at least a couple million dollars a year. In my opinion, maybe he only makes 750k, but I feel like he makes a couple million. There's no way that he does not. He's also sponsored. The WWE is sponsored by Prime. I feel like he makes a lot of money. I feel like he's bringing a lot of people to the WWE. It's kind of crazy, but let's. I don't know how much do you guys think. Put it in the comment section. Example: One of the actual lawsuits involving a real person that's not scripted for professional wrestling is a defamation lawsuit to CoffeeZilla. Mm. Now, obviously, this is one of those lawsuits where Logan is simply trying to silence CoffeeZilla, put him in a financial hell, make him have to go through a long legal process, and essentially to say, shut up, stop talking about me, stop making videos on me. Because if you're a fan of CoffeeZilla, if you've ever watched CoffeeZilla, his videos are by no means slop. You know, they're by no yep. means pump and dumps like Logan is used to. He is someone who spends hours, probably months, researching and editing and taking time to make sure that a story that is from him to you is almost 100% factual. Plus, of course, there are opinions and whatnot, right? You can see that on June 27th, 2024, Paul had enough and filed a 47-page lawsuit seeking $75,000 in compensatory damages. $75,000 isn't a lot, but I'm going to say, adding to this, um, Logan Paul actually, he has five lawyers. Not just one, not two, not three. He has five lawyers, guys. Five lawyers trying to sue Kaifizilla. You see what I'm saying? Like, what? Huh? Five lawyers, bro. He literally has a freaking security assault team on CoffeeZilla. He wants CoffeeZilla. And the thing is, I feel like he's going to, he he knows he's not going to win, but he's going to drag this lawsuit out and he's going to make CoffeeZilla not make content for a very long time on him. And at the same time, he's going to, he's going to make so that like Logan, or he's going to make sure that CoffeeZilla suffers for this. Because lawsuits can be years. It can be two years. It can be three years. It could just be keep dragging and dragging and dragging and dragging until CoffeeZilla doesn't have any more money. And it's it's a crazy strategy, but like it's smart at the same time. You see what I'm saying? He does not want to be talking about his image, so he's going to do this. Which for big YouTubers, again, is not that much money. But again, it's a headache to have to deal with and go through the legal process and go to court. And Logan will most likely probably not even be representing himself. Mm. When you're as big as Logan Paul, you can just hire some minion to go up on the podium and represent you while you're on, you know, on TV fighting, you know, pro wrestling, yep. while you're making commercials with KSI and Speed. That's just kind of the what happens when you get to that level of fame. See, however, Finden Sign called the influencer turned wrestler the biggest enemy of his own lawsuit. This is due to past videos in which Paul praised the YouTube's investigative journalism and intentions. Defamation requires actual malice and a reckless disregard for the truth. So even Logan like doesn't know what side he's on in this. So at the same time, okay, so the 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 video he's talking about was actually one in his thank you video. So he first when this whole coffee deal things first started, he said, I'm going to sue you. 
got a whole bunch of negative backlash. And then after the negative backlash, she made a, a like a I'm sorry video to Coffeezilla saying like I'm not going to sue you. I appreciate you discussing this thing. After all that stuff happened, um, he went on a, a guy show. The guy kind of lied to him, basically saying, "Hey, I'm using this show that's going to be basically sold to Apple. We're going to interview you about all the crypto stuff." And in that video, he says, "Dude, Coffeezilla is a good guy." Blah blah blah. Um, like. It's basically he was like saying that he agrees with what Coffeezilla did basically in the video. But then he told the guy who made that video to not put that stuff in there. He does not want any of that stuff because of this. Because he knows that he was going to sue them. This is all theorization. It's not a statement. He knows that he was going to sue him. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of crazy that he's playing both sides. But at the same time, he's trying to damn it he's not he's trying to like protect his image but at the same time it's just making it worse it's just making it worse you see what i'm saying situation logan is just not okay up here and that's the big deal you know it's not a good year for logan he just continues to go down and down and down and i'm here for it i'm here for it ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think down below of this entire situation personally never been a fan of logan never been a fan you know there are very few people in the world that I, I always say, like, you know, I don't hate the guy, blah, 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 you know, Speed, KSI, people like that. I don't really hate him. Logan Paul's one of the few people that I can't say, I don't really hate him. I don't know. Yeah, I'm indifferent. I don't think he's a good person at all. It does suck to turn on Monday Night Raw and see Logan Paul there, a horrible person making millions of dollars a year to, uh, you know, of course, entertain others. Kids enjoy it. Kids eat it up. But he's not a good man not whatsoever you know i'd put him on the same scale right about now as mr beast but you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down below so i at the same time i feel like logan paul's making a whole bunch of mistakes i feel like he just needs to clean up his image but over time i feel like he will learn maybe he will never learn but over time i don't know i try to i try to give the guy a little bit of sympathy because he's been getting pooped on a lot but guys what do you think but guys before we do that what do you guys think um I was going to say something. What do you guys think of Logan Paul? Like, do you guys think he's going to win the lawsuit with Coffeezilla and the, and the prom situation? I forgot to say this. Or do you think that he's going to lose? Put in the comment section as well. But guys, if you guys have not followed Cam Nuggets, give him a sub. Turn your notification bell. Like the video. Your videos are amazing, Cam. I love reacting to them. This is the first one I react to. I wanted to react to a couple of them. Um, it just, the timing was wrong, but now I finally react to your videos. Your videos are crazy, man. Keep it up, bro. Guys, subscribe to, let's try to get him to hundred K, bro. He needs to be, he needs to be at hundred K size, bro. I know I'm a, a small YouTube channel, but I, I love supporting creators. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. all valid points, brother, all valid points, but thank you guys. If you guys have not liked, subscribe and turn on your notifications. Um, please do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Peace.